Castle had a heated meeting with supporters last night. Robinson, who wasn't speaking to the media today, also refused to sell his 20% shareholdings to fans or to resign. However, former chairman Leslie Dean believes the proposal to move to Murrayfield can be defeated. Ronald Leask now reports. With Chris Robinson, former chairman Leslie Deans and property developer Robert McGrail all at last night's meeting with supporters, proceedings were always likely to be lively. Many fans barracked the chief executive, demanding he sell his shares and resign. That was stonewalled by Chris Robinson, who insisted he wouldn't be selling and that his resigning would not help the situation. He also warned that Hearts could join Dundee and Motherwell in administration if the club remains at Tynecastle. I think Chris should look at his record. Um, by any token, his record over the past four years is dreadful. The company has lost huge amounts of money. Um, we're now £17.5 million pounds in debt, and it's the policies of the board that have brought us to the state. An extraordinary general meeting to be held in the next three months will see shareholders voting on the move to Murrayfield, and given the board's controlling stake, it's likely to succeed. But with his proposal to buy and lease back Tynecastle looking unlikely, property developer Robert McGrail now wants to buy either Chris Robinson or SMG out and prevent the move. In a statement today, SMG said, we are a publicly limited company and do not comment on such matters. Obviously, if I get quoted some ridiculous price considering the shares are floundering at 17 pence and have no intrinsic value considering the club's insolvent, and uh, you know, they'd have to talk realistically to me. Chris Robinson today declined to be interviewed, but with the overwhelming majority of Hearts supporters against leaving Tynecastle and with former chairman Leslie Deans determined to fight any move, the chief executive is looking an increasingly isolated figure. He last night admitted there is no contingency plan if the move to Murrayfield doesn't work out, but he insists staying here at Tyne Castle represents a much bigger risk to the club.